My name is Chris Buckley, President of the Ontario Federation of Labour. I'm joined with Sister Patty Coates, OFL Secretary Treasurer. First of all, I want to thank each and every one of you for spending your Saturday with us here at Queen's Park. But most of all, most of all, I want to thank our educators. I want to thank our support staff and all of our school system across the province. As a parent, I want to thank you for what you do every day. You have such a huge influence on our young people. You prepare our young future for the future. You help mold our young people and set them straight as they start their lives once they graduate school. So as a parent, thank you from the bottom of my heart. You know, I had to chuckle. I had to chuckle when Doug Ford was campaigning to get elected. Doug Ford said that his government would find efficiencies and no worker would lose their job. Well, folks, I've had the privilege to represent workers for over 30 years now with some very nasty employers in the province of Ontario. And whenever the boss said they were looking for efficiencies, workers' jobs were on the line. So what is the first thing the Premier and his caucus did? They attacked workers' rights. They legislated York University workers back to work. They catered to the business community and took their and turned their backs on workers in the province of Ontario. Yay! Now Doug Ford and his puppets are attacking our education system. Yay! They're attacking our health care system. Yay! And they're disadvantaging our young people. The young people that are going to shape the landscape of this province for years to come. Yay! I had a good laugh the other day. When I listened to the Premier warn, warn the teachers, warn the labor movement not to take action as a result of class sizes. Well, Premier Ford, this is just the start. You have not seen nothing yet. And Doug Ford, the Premier of Ontario, stated to the media not too long ago, the unions have launched a war against him and his government. Well, I can tell you, we didn't go looking for a war, but we do know how to fight back in the labor movement. We reached out to the Premier for meetings soon as he got elected in order to try to build a relationship, in order to try to fill him out. He did not meet with myself. He did not meet with any of the labor leaders in the province of Ontario. He had his agenda made up as of June the 7th. But I can tell you one thing, sisters and brothers, and to the young people that are here today, we will fight to protect our public education system. will fight to protect our children's education. And his puppets better understand, most of the young people that he's attempting to disadvantage will be going to vote in three and a half years. You know, this government does truly make me laugh. Premier Ford, has called myself and other labor leaders union thugs. Well, I'll tell you, sisters and brothers, and I'll tell you every young person here, if fighting to protect our education system, if fighting to protect our health care system, if fighting to protect workers' rights, if fighting to protect our children's futures, if fighting to make this in Ontario, where no one is left behind, then I'm absolutely fine being called a union thug. And I'm absolutely certain each and every one of you are 
the thugs as well. At the Ontario Federation of Labour, we've launched our fight back. It's called the power of many. And today I see the power of many here at Queen's Park. The nation of our labour movement in the province of Ontario. We will, we will build a province that is fair for everyone. We will build a province where there is no hate and no discrimination. We will build a province that we can be proud of. The labour movement knows how to get it done. And as I've said, and as Sarah LaBelle stated, Today is the first day of a huge resistance and thank you to our education sector. Thank you to our healthcare workers. Thank you for being here today. And when we get to a point, when we get to a point where we shut down the province of Ontario, Doug Ford can answer to all his cronies while nobody's at work on that day. Solidarity system, brothers. Thank you very much.